Welcome back to Blacks in Motion, and we're going to go ahead and get to this list of signal callers. That's right, quarterbacks for this year's fantasy teams out there that's looking to go ahead and make that jump. Now, coming in at number five, Matt Ryan. Now, look, I had Matt Ryan on my team last year, and he did wonders. This guy has a high-powered offense in Atlanta with multiple receivers and a great tight end in Tony Gonzalez, even though he's old, but that offense is off the chain. It is the greatest show on turf right now, and I'm not talking about the Rams. So look for Matt Ryan to have another monster year, and he just got paid big money. Coming in at number four, Cam Newton, the ultimate dual threat quarterback that we have right now in the league. Look, this guy is 6'5", he's over 200 pounds, and if he's not running by you, he's running over you. And look for him just to become better as a passer. So that makes him even more deadly in this year's fantasy leagues. Coming in at number three, Old Man River, Peyton Manning. Now listen, I'm not a Peyton Manning fan. I've said it before and I'll continue to say it. And I thought his arm was messed up, but I guess he made a detractor out of me last year because that dude was prolific at the helm. He has even more talent at the wide receiver position right now, adding Wes Welker to the team. So look for Peyton Manning to have another monster year, even though he's 37 years of age. Coming in at number two. Now look, some people may argue with me about this, but when you talk about the best passer in the game right now, you have to say Drew Brees. This is the only guy to ever have back-to-back -back seasons where he had over 5,000 yards and over 40 touchdown passes. This guy was the number one point getter in fantasy last year. So you really can't go wrong. But don't be mad at me. You're probably saying, well, why is he number two? And that's because my number one quarterback for fantasy this year is Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers. Look, I believe in real-life performance. And to me, Aaron Rodgers is the best in the business right now. Yeah, he took a shot. Greg Jennings is not going to be in his wide receiver core this year. But he has more talent that's ready to step in. And when you ask me, he's the best leader of any football team out there right now. Not necessarily a dual-threat quarterback, but he knows when to use his legs and and he also picks up yardage and touchdowns on the ground. Not to say he has the best accuracy and some really good arm strength to go along with that. But those are my picks. You may not agree. Hopefully you do. Either way, let me know. Hit me up in my email, cliff at blackvideonews.com. Until next time, stay tuned and stay logged on to Blacks in Motion.